Matter exists in three forms, solids, liquids, and gases. Solids, liquids, and gases exist in pure form, combined chemically with other elements to form compounds, or may be mixed together without chemically combining to form mixtures. A few elements exist in pure form, such as carbon and oxygen. However, most elements are unstable and are usually found combined with other elements in the form of compounds. Compounds are two or more elements bonded together by a chemical reaction and can only be broken down into original elements by a reversal of the chemical reaction that formed it. When atoms of two or more elements are bonded together to form a compound, the resulting particle is called a molecule. For example, when two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen combine, a molecule of water is formed. When one atom of carbon and two of oxygen combine, a molecule of carbon dioxide is formed. Now we're going to take a look at inorganic compounds in water treatment chemistry. Solutions range from very acidic to very basic. The pH of a solution is a measurement of how acidic or basic the solution is. The pH scale runs from 0, which is most acidic, to 14, which is most basic. The pH scale is a log scale which means a change of one pH unit equals a tenfold change in concentration. Pure water has a pH of 7, the center of the range, neither acidic nor basic. For each treatment process, there is a pH at which the operation is most effective. If the water pH is too low for an operation to be effective, then the pH can be increased by the addition of a base such as lime. If the pH is too high, then the pH can be lowered by adding an acid. Inorganic compounds can be classified into three main groups, acids, bases, and salts. An acid is any substance that releases hydrogen ions when mixed into water. For example, shortly after sulfuric acid is mixed into water, many of the sulfuric acid molecules dissociate or come apart. Acids that dissociate readily are known as strong acids. Acids that dissociate poorly are known as weak acids. A hydrogen atom has a charge of plus one. A base is any substance that produces hydroxyl ions when it dissociates in water. A hydroxyl ion is comprised of one oxygen atom and one hydrogen atom and has a charge of negative one. Lime, caustic soda, and common household ammonia are examples of bases. Salts are compounds resulting from an acid-base mixture. The process of mixing an acid with a base to form a salt is called neutralization. 